Hey guys, welcome back to another ship with me. My name is JC. I am a part-time reseller in my soap studio and this is where I pack. So I have a skincare company that I run called The Pink Hippie. And then I have the thr Thrifting Pink Hippie, which it's all combined under one LLC. But I wanna update y'all from the last video that I did when I made that huge mistake and I sent the wrong jacket. It's almost been a year since I've been reselling at the end of April. So I guess it's bound to happen, but I felt so bad. Anyway, I if, if something like that happens, Poshmark uh, sends her a shipping label. She sends it back and gets refunded once I get it and say I've gotten it. You, if you, if the person still wants that item, you have to copy the listing. So I did that. It, she had bought it for 23 with, like she came in and just bought it for 23. So her, it was like 23 plus 7.95 shipping. And she did still want it. And so I actually gave her a discount. I just put it down for 18. And so she got like $5 off just for her trouble which I feel horrible. Anyway, we're gonna pack that one first. And right now, but I, I will go over first some sales that I did not pack. And I just wanna give y'all kind of a glimpse. I'm really not putting many hours into what I'm doing right now. Posture VA is carrying my weight right now. <laughs> so just relisting. I did do a couple sales uh, yesterday. So I did, um, to my likers, through Posture VA, I did a, a, a 20% discount so people that I got in the 10% get the 20% and then I did a 30% so the people that previously got the 20% now get the 30% so I do have a couple sales from that but not any from the 30% which is crazy and then I had some full price sales anyway we'll talk about it I want to try to get this done and make it like quick I got my protein shake and my mushroom coffee I will do a kind of a walkthrough, not in this video, but in another video. Give me a thumbs up if that's what you would like to see or comment below. Just my setup in here. Um, I did show y'all in the last video a little glimpse of my, my little making area over there for all my product, which just makes me so thrilled and smile. I do want a wallpaper in here, so I'm trying to find a boho hippie kind of wallpaper that's got some pink in it. It's funny, I'm very bland at dressing. I don't really dress with a lot of color, <laughs> but I do like, I'm kind of an eclectic kind of style. So we'll see, we'll see. Let me go over these sales that you, I did not record and I wanna make sure I'm in the frame. So my, speaking of frame, my daughter is here. She'll be 33 next month in April. So she's, I was like, does this look okay, me pulling my hair back? She goes, mom, you need to pull some around to frame your face. So I hope I did that. I finally sold this pair of pillowcases that I got from the Benz and I, everything's pretty much from the Benz. I, um, I will let you know if I get something from my thrift store, but this is from, these were from the Benz. Someone came in and offered, I think it was honest. It was on an offer for $18 and they got discount shipping, so my total earnings on those were $11.42. Really cute pillowcases, great condition, happy they are on their way to their new home, so those have been shipped. The next up was this wool blend studded, daisy studded collar. Oh, it was so adorable. I did think I was gonna get more for this, but hey, it's a sweater. We're coming into spring and summer. Let's get it out. So I gave her an offer of $11. Posture VA sent this out. And my earnings on that was $5.07. I probably paid a dollar. This was my from my um, family thrift store that's right up the street from our farm. Next line, I was thrilled with this, was this A-line embroidered um, midi lined skirt. And I will tell you all of these things, I have not had more than 60 days, just so you know the ones that, that are, I'm talking about now that have sold. So um, this, I maxi skirts are huge right now, so they are sell for me. That's one of my big sellers is maxi skirts. And sorry, I did not tell you the brand. I can put that on the screen if I didn't speak it. This A-line skirt is a dialogue. It's just really pretty skirt, size 10. And that she came in and just bought it for 27. I had it listed for 27. She bought it for 27. My total earnings was 21.60. And I was almost about to pull this out of my closet. It's a little big for me. It's a size large, but I was like, 
I might wear that for Easter Sunday. So, which is tomorrow. You'll see this after that fact, probably a week later, but. So this is a boho baby doll, high, low, embroidered. I love embroidered. I pick up everything embroidered. This is just recently relisted, so this is over 60 days old. Kayla C is the, is the brand, and I had it listed for $34, and she was sent an offer. So I, for some reason, why I think that was full price. Anyway, so she ended up um, getting it for $34, so I had to order that. I, I, my net earnings on that was $24.22. This is what I found at the Benz, and I saw the embroidery on the top, and I like ran and grabbed it. Yes. So, all right, so we are next up to the sales, but I'm gonna kind of skip up to the jacket so we can get that done. I actually have to go get it because I didn't bring it out here yet. My hanger is not here, it's right out in my sunroom. So let me go grab these sales. So I believe I said IE, like this is an IE jacket on the screen because I, on the last video, because I was actually reading my, all right, you're gonna have to come over here because you're gonna end up spilling on my clothes and that's not good. So this is the new with tags. Both jackets were new with tags. The other one was more of a winter kind of uh, jacket. So that's, I don't know. I don't know. I need to, speaking of, I need to put, go get my glasses. So I'm going to fold this one up and get this out to her. I feel horrible. Gosh, have y'all made that mistake before? Send the wrong item. Posh, Poshmark sent me a, I guess it's kind of like a generic message. We know these things happen, but next time just be more careful at what you're, you know, pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. All right, so like I said, I gave her a discount on this and let me get my bearings here. And um, sold it to her for 18. So my total earnings now were $14.40. I am going to put this in a box. Now to my, to my right, and like I said, I am actually gonna get a different table because if you see this, it is, it is not stable. But I love the height. I really do love the height. Um, I, it's all my shipping boxes right here uh, to my, I have access here. Um, I'm still working on filling my product, uh, which a lot of this will go to my farm store. Um, I have a farm store here and that's getting renovated. So it still doesn't have the floor in or the walls up. All right. I put on here that, you know, again, so sorry. <laughs> that for all the trouble, I'm happy. She, she really wanted it for this weekend. But so Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. I'm going to double check and make sure new with tag. Okay. See, the other one was like a wool blend. Oh my gosh. So let me get a box, which is right here. I'm gonna put this in. So I have to tell you all something on a, on a, personal, a personal level. Um, I have given up my coffee. And I am now drinking the mushroom coffee, which I'm, I'm going to switch over to the, the um, Chicory, it's a chicory coffee. Uh, it's got like carob and chicory root and dandelion root, all which is healthy and good for you. And um, that is not sticky. Anyway, I am getting, I don't know if y'all noticed since my last video, but I am getting off like inflammation, which is really nice. All right, Elizabeth, thank you so much. Going to Ohio, I hope you get it ASAP. This is going out early so make sure it gets there to her as soon as possible i should give her like a discount on other things <laughs> if she wants something else in my closet all right guys i love picking up um vintage things and this is no exception this is a this is the brand you can see that and it is, how adorable is this? It is 100% suede, real suede, excellent condition. Um, the only thing that looks distressed is that tag. It looks like it has, it's like discolored. That is it. The ruffles, adorable. How cute is that? 
So I found this at the Benz. Why no one else wanted it, don't know. Don't know. But someone came in and I had it listed, I believe, for 32 at one time. But someone took my offer. Okay, how am I going to fold this without... Hmm. <laughs> it doesn't really want to naturally fold that way. Maybe this way. There we go. So I'm kind of doing these out of order, actually, from when they happened. So she ended up... She, yeah, so th this was probably... Maybe not 30, maybe 28. Yeah, it was $28. I had it listed for 28. I did mark it down some. But, because I think I had it listed at one time for 32. So she came in and got it from a offer posture VA sent out from my sale yesterday for 26. And my total earnings on this was 18.78. So that is good. I will put this in a box as well. Ruffled suede. I got the right one. I am double checking. Yeah, so I didn't get any bags that I thought the post office was going to deliver. So I do, I have some pink bags that I use for eBay. Because um, most of my orders from there are like the ground, USPS ground. So this cute little purse is going to Kim in, oh, in West Virginia. Fun, fun. I say that because I used to live in West Virginia for like three years. I jokingly say I saved my husband from West Virginia. We're in Virginia now. Which we're going to be coming up on, oh my goodness, 30 years together. And what would that be? 28 years married? Exciting. All right. So I did not get to share this with y'all, but this is one, an item that was donated. This is an L.L. Bean um, crossbody bag. Man, it holds so much. It's, they're like new. These were donated to me. I had two. This is the second one that has sold for full price. I listed them for 40. Both times someone came in and, and snagged them for $40. How amazing is that? And so I don't have a cost of goods on this um, because it's, all right, I'm not, user error, there we go. Um, yeah, because it was free, she donated. Um, this one lady likes what I do here, so if y'all are new watching this channel, I have a youth program here utilizing our horses. And so we typically do Tuesday, Wednesday afternoon, Friday, Saturday mornings, and we utilize the horses for kids that have, you know, different things going on in their lives. And the, the horses are a help. They're outward focus of taking care of something and not focusing in on themselves is a huge healing aspect. I can see oh, my view right now uh, since I switched because I used to be over there and I could see it, the actual barn of someone. But I can see if someone pulls in down the driveway. I'm watching horses. They're like meandering around after breakfast. All right, so decisions, decisions. I think I'm gonna put it in one of these boxes. Because I don't, I don't have any of the water, not that this is waterproof, I wonder if this would fit in here. This is so, I use this a lot for my soap when I'm sipping, shipping soap out. Let's see. I don't know if it's gonna fit in here. I might need something different. I'll tape it more, but I, I just, it not fit in here. No. Oh, actually it does. Look. That's great. What I might do is just, did I put there, this is it here. So what I might do is, I'm just gonna stick this on top and I'm gonna put another piece of paper on top. There we go. And this is going to Linda in Arizona. What a great little bag. Definitely. A good thing to have on. 
going out and doing some hiking or sightseeing. And can't believe they, I mean, both of them came in and bought them full price. That's pretty awesome. And when I saw it pop up, because I had just recently done a sale, I thought for sure that um, someone had gotten it at a discount price. Because there were quite a bit of watchers on there. Maybe not. So my total earnings on that was $32. And I had... Oh, I didn't have any likers on that one. So that goes to show you that yes, having someone like something in your closet is good because then you have a communication with them to be able to send out offers, but doesn't mean a sale. Did I? I'm gonna just button this up here. Okay, there's that one. And the last one, oh. Is that it? I thought I had four. Stand by, I do have four. Where is it? What else do I have? Oh, the pants, I have it right here. <laughs> All right, so this is my inventory system of things that um, I use the bag system, but I never send these plastic bags to the buyer. I just like how it keeps it nice. I'm gonna reuse that. So, I still haven't cleaned my table back here, by the way. It's work in progress. Um, how cute are these? That is the brand right there. And these are a large. They are cargo linen pants. Pretty sheer, but perfect for spring and summer. So beachy. It's a linen lagging look. Oh, I love it. I love these. I'll put, probably put these, I actually might put these in one of my bags. Maybe I'll do that. So, this was a sale item from what I sent out. So she got an offer for $18 and my total earnings after discount and the discount and the discount shipping was $11.42. I did find these. These are older than 60 days. They just relisted. So again, had likers on them from relisting and then the office sales were sent out. Yeah, it looks like she took it on a 10% uh, discount, what it looks like. Now, I have another sale. I mean, well, <laughs> eBay. Linen pink cargo caprice, women's size large. That is the right item. I have a, I had someone like some boots on eBay and so I sent out, I gave them a $10 discount on these boots because I have them listed for 56. So, um, I ended up uh, getting a saying that it's sold or they accepted, I'm waiting for payment. So it might not end up being a sale. I brought them in just in case while I was doing all this that, I mean, it was just like 30 minutes ago, I got notifications. So I brought them in to see if I would get payment and then I could pack them. So that might be for the next time when I hit record in this video and This is going to, so 11.42 is what I made. This is going to Christine in Maine. I do have some soap orders to pack as well, but um, I'll hit record and share their sales for the rest of this week. So, be back. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I am going to ship out what sold on Saturday, but I eBay has gotta get their act together because I sold sold <laughs> these boots but the buyer has not paid yet so i sent a nice reminder <laughs> and no response so i had it listed for 56 and they accepted an offer of 46 but 
<laughs> All right, so first thing up, this is a donated item. This is Refuge Denim. And let me make sure I take this off properly. I do not have my coat or my clothes rack because um, I'm letting my daughter use it, my oldest daughter. And <laughs> once I list the things I need to list, which is like 20 things on a rack, I have more than 20 things to list. But once I list those things, um, I'll be able to bring a rack back out here. But I'm loving my space. I have 10 pounds of soap over there to be cut and some sample bars because I had a little bit more that would fit in the actual soap mold. So I made some sample bars along with that. So I love sending samples. And if you stick out to the end, I will show you a couple of soap orders, skincare orders I got where I will be adding samples in. And these orders are from viewers so that is pretty cool where am i gonna put this i'll hang it there for now really nice denim i just got done telling i think in the last video something's with something's up with denim i mean i guess there's always <laughs> there's always who's that take there's always something going on something going on with denim so like i said this was donated and that one's got a th thank you sticker attached to it and um, no cost of goods. Just my time to list and to do all the things with that. I didn't have it listed for very high because it's not, like I said, it's not a high-end brand that's going to go for a lot. They came in and accepted an offer I'm sorry, they offered me, I had it listed, I want to say for 23, and they offered me 20. I was like, yeah, let's do that. That sounds good. Where's my, all right, I'm still trying to get organized in here. I think when I get my, or either reinforce this table or get my new table, that's this height, um, I might be going to Ikea or I might even go to like Habitat for Humanity and see if I can find something. I love finding repurposing pieces. And then I could have some slots right here, at, right at my fingertips to be able to do boxes and bags and stuff. So let me put a thank you sticker on here. I will be recording for my farm channel after this on the cutting of the soap. So if you're ever interested in seeing kind of the behind the scenes of me making the product, um, you can see that on there. I'll put that link below. So my total earnings, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guesstimate because I haven't gotten to my thing yet. So typically if I sell something for 20 without shipping discount, I'll make $14. I mean $16 is what I meant. So yeah, so $16 is my Earnings on this top with just my, you know, just listing. No, uh, no cost of goods on that one, which is nice. And I just went up to my, um, the lady that donated that, it's from her kids. She had picked up a soap order and she left me another bag of items. So I had gone through that and there's like four, I want to say four items, there's a pair of linen pants and a really cute boho top that I'll, that I'll list. And there's two other things I think that I'll list. So, all right, next up is a three piece bundle. And I'm like debating on if I should do a scarf like I've done in the past for my bundles. I started doing that after watching another YouTuber. So, um, first up, I'm gonna hang this one over here too since I have no other space. Is this? Let me see if I can make sure. I've been practicing on making sure that this is viewable so y'all can see it. This is so soft, it has a belt attached, which I will flip back up through before I fold it. It is amazingly soft and in excellent condition. Okay. So I probably will wrap this separate and I actually might wrap all three separate because there's a pair of sandals in this bundle. 
I sold a pair of shoes. I would sell a pair of boots here too if someone would. <laughs> Maybe they change their mind. I guess that happens. All right, so this bundle, three items. I'll put a little thank you sticker on here because this one might go. Oh, I did. <laughs> this one might go on the top. And I'm going to take a little bit of, oh, this piece I've had, it's, it just relisted. The, both of these piece, two pieces just relisted. And I've had them for a long time. They probably, this is probably their second time relisting. So this cute piece, why it took so long. I mean, it's again, this is just new direction. It's not a huge bolo, but how adorable is this? It has a split back. Isn't that cute? It has a split back and front with bell sleeves. It's adorable. And just, just now sold on relisting. That's awesome. I did actually list, what did I list? Four things? <laughs> early, early Easter morning. <laughs> By the way, I hope y'all had a wonderful Easter with family. Um, yeah, so it was early Easter morning. I, um, got up and I listed some things. Cute little items. Okay, last thing on this bundle. Uh, sandals. They're in really good condition. There is some, which I took pictures of, of the, like, but I'm wondering if I should, I shouldn't mess with it right now. I was thinking maybe I'll take some um alcohol to it but i don't want to mess with it because what if i do that and then like it rubs off it, it is stated in the listing that they're in good condition it shows it in the picture um i had those listed for 23 i had the diagonal boho stripes layer top that new direction piece listed for um 20 and i had that other piece i had marked it down 40 percent and so that those that one did not relist. So that that pink top did not relist because if it did, I would have brought the price back up again. Um, I'm gonna do it like that. So the total bundle, which was so nice, because she was building her bundle, uh, and Saturday evening, she went in and got my 15% discount from three items or more and bought it for $47.60 and my earnings on that was it is $38.08. Okay, so the sandals were donated to me. The other two pieces I got for a dollar at Provisions Family Thrift Store when they were doing a dollar. So that tells you how long I've had it cuz they do $2 clothing now. Sometimes they'll do a special of a dollar or 50 cent day stuff like that so but so my total cost on this bundle was two dollars and of course my time listing and all that so that is nice let me get my little my little box it should fit in here yeah all right so i think what i'm gonna do is go get um i'm gonna go get one of my scarves because i have so many Okay, this is one of the scarves that I just recently um, picked up and washed, and isn't that cute? I thought it was adorable, but I pick up scarves all the time. I typically only list the ones that are um, silk, like really good material. This actually feels like it's cotton, so it's not like, it's not polyester. And I think it's, um, it's rayon, 100% rayon. It has an RN number so I could find out what company it is, but this is cute and it's still, it's spring-like, so I like that. It doesn't really cost me any more. I don't know if I should tie it in a bow. I'm not going to tie it in a bow. I'm just going to tie it like that and sit it down there. Now I'm going to make sure I put a piece of paper on top so um, she doesn't cut into it. Definitely gonna need a piece of paper on top. And I'm gonna put this on here. So I forgot to say that this is going to Catlin, that shirt in New Jersey. Thank you, Catlin. And 
This is gonna go to Julie in North Carolina. I'm gonna stick this right at the top here. So I will give y'all a glimpse. And while I finish packing this up, I'm gonna show y'all how I pull my inventory. So this is me getting some of the inventory that I pulled today for these sales. I love my inventory system. I kind of got it from both um, Ginger Marvin, except they use the, they just use the plastic and send it in the plastic. But then I watched, um, oh gosh, I'll put it on the screen, Cajun. Oh, I hate it when I forget a YouTuber's channel. I'll put it on the screen. And I watched her take it out of the plastic and wrap it. I was like, oh. And of course, McThriftsy. I mean, she's the first one that I saw that, you know, used this paper. And I was like, okay, I really like that. And then, but I can't hang everything up. I don't have um, horizontal, a lot of horizontal storage that made sense. So, okay. And it just, to put those boxes in, it, it's so nice. I just, I just need to spend some more time organizing because it's, it's hard to walk in there. All right, so this is, like I said, this is, oh, did I say this? Oh, that makes me nervous. Yeah, I said that. Julie in North Carolina. Now, what's nice is the order number is on here, so you can look at it and see. Okay, 3B117. That's on the bundle. Okay that what a what a nice little bundle all right next up we have this uh cottage core prairie i didn't have this for long i picked this up at the bends again typically a dollar 20 is my is my um cost this is milk and honey is the brand How cute is that? It's got the little eyelet cut out. This is the cotton part. I just think it's adorable. And look at that, it's, I got it at the bins and it's like white. I did steam clean it. So it has all of that. Cute ruffles, a square, square neckline. I'm redoing that because that looked really bad. There, that's better. I probably will still put this in a box as well. I will say carrying packages in to ship out, the boxes are easier because the bags just slide everywhere. It's very annoying. But I try to use the free, everything free. My cup out like it was not squared I have like I said two soap orders over here and I have to make I only have one magnesium butter left so that means I need to make more which uh, it's a good problem to have but before I I actually could probably melt down my oils and butters and um, that cut soap while those are melting. That's a plan. I'm going to go ahead and put one more piece in here. Just to secure it and put this on the back. Cottage Core Prairie Ruffled Baby Doll Pop Over Top Women's Extra Large. She got it for $15. She sent me an offer. I was like, yep. So what typically happens is, you know, I'll send, Pasha VA will send out that 10% offer. And then about five days later, they'll get a 20%. And then about five days later from that, all the likers will get 30%. That's just how I run my sales to likers because I want to it's like someone who signs up for your email 
you have someone interested. So why not put your energy and time on them instead of taking your whole closet down or your whole, you know, you're, you're really fine tuning the ones that already like it to that. So, um, so she sent me the $15 offer and I was like, yeah, absolutely. That sounds like a plan. I will take it again at a dollar twenty. It's a good deal for both of us. And that is going to Lisa in Texas. Perfect. Love it. <laughs> All right. Next up is this boho high, I mean boho maxi high low dress button down. And um I had this listed for 45. So I'll tell you the brand. It is absolutely adorable. I found the stock photo. So if you can see that, that's the stock photo. And um, yeah, so I had it listed for, five, for 45. There were 19 likers on it, which if you've heard, and this new with tags, by the way. <laughs> if you've heard me, <laughs> oh, say it before, I'll say it again. There's the new with tags. Um, it's City Chic is the brand, which some things can go for a lot of money. This is a size 18, because they're a plus size brand, so 18 is their medium, what they call a medium. It is pretty sheer, but oh, so cute. So cute. So, I am going to just run a, um, this thing this thing over top of it. Yeah, I was thrilled. Found this at the Benz. I believe I found that white baby doll top and this the same day. And this has, I mean, obviously it still has the 19 lightpers on it. It has not been 60 days. So we, at least we know we're under 60 days on this dress. So I will definitely put this one in a box. It is big. It doesn't give the regular price on it. Tag is in there, safe, good. So she had gotten all the offers. <laughs> she had gotten the 10%, the 20%, and I think it got down to 30%. And then she sent me an offer of 25. And I was like, here's the thing. We can get so emotionally invested in all the things, what we thrift, because we have great expectations for an item. And, and even more so, like you think in my soap company and my handcrafted stuff that I actually make with my hands, um, you know, the value feels like so much more. Anyway, you just, it's just one of those processes where you just got to learn to let go. Yeah, I was, it would be the great if I thought I was going to get 40 for that or whatever, but um, my cost of goods is low and I'm still making a profit at least $18 and 80 cents is probably what I'm making on that dress and someone gets a great dress and hopefully I get a customer that comes back to buy and purchase more that's the that's the goal and in all the businesses is a service and um, supplying a product solving a problem I've said it before is that going to shake around in there Um, yeah, so that's the, the plus is solving a problem for someone. They get a good deal, they get what they're looking for. Hopefully this is what she was looking for and she likes it. And thank you, Katie in Florida. Yay. We are down to the sale that I just made this morning actually had sent out, Posture VA sent out an offer. 
So this is adorable piece. I did think I was gonna, this was gonna go for more as well. And this was on the 40%. I never, I took my sweaters down for 40%. This is so soft. I forgot how soft this was. Adorable cottage core. I called it a pullover cottage core sweater, sheer floral sleeves, size large. And it, she, it sold for $12. Let me see the details. Yes. So it was originally um, 15. I want to say like 15, but how cute is that? This is the brand. Again, a lot of these you think would go for more, especially this brand, but I am, it is done. And this is going to a new home absolutely adorable i might put this one in a bag because it is so small i love the little faux pearl buttons at the neckline with the little peekaboo how cute but at the same time i really don't want to put it in a bag if i had one of my mail bags i put it in and i keep forgetting every time i go to the post office because i go around the back and i scan the items myself and put them in so, <laughs> I have a little tiny box over there. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put it in that one. I still don't think it's going to fit. So, my total earnings on this was $6.07. And you know what? It's out of my closet. It's going to serve its purpose. That's the goal. Again, I probably had it listed for 28 at one time. I really wish I had a bag, but I'm gonna do this. Oh, well, I just dropped all of them everywhere. Uh, these are pretty tough, so I'll put that in. And this is gonna go to Diana. Thank you, Diana, in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. So cute. It is, and I forgot how soft it is. The, um, just so y'all know, because I'm now curious, is it was, uh, it's a rayon polyester nylon, and then the, the sleeves were um, polyester. It actually feels more like a, something else. Oh, that's a siren. Sorry, I heard something. It sounded like a water faucet screeching, but it's actually a siren. We had some really scary storms here yesterday. I got, I went up to the barn to check on some horses because we had some rain and one of the horses can't get wet. It's got a, I don't know if you can hear that, a wrap on. So I, um, that's really, getting really close. So I have to keep him in the barn and his herd mates have to stay in with him because you can't separate, you can't separate a herd. It's just not, they would freak out. So, um, anyway, uh, when I got halfway up to the barn, which isn't far, it's not far at all, maybe 500 yards or something like that. And she, um, it, and it started pouring. And so my dog and I, Oliver, we were just running to get into the barn and then the lightning and it immediate thunder afterwards. So that was, that was kind of scary. That was kind of scary. All right, first up I have, now y'all have said that you want to hear about some of the, you know, watch me pack some of the soap orders. So I believe this is one of my viewers, Alice in California. Thank you so much. I am hoping this helps you as much as it has helped me. Um, it is, this is the magnesium butter that I made because I was having really bad leg cramps at night. Couldn't, I couldn't pinpoint where the pain was. Oh, it was so frustrating. And I, you know, researched and found how to make this magnesium butter 
without, it was an experiment because I don't add water to my products because I don't want to have to add preservatives. I don't know if y'all know, but preservatives are, um, can affect your DNA. Um, I'm going to have to put something else in here to make sure that it is not going to bang against the walls. Um, so that's why I don't have any preservatives in my products. I use oil. It's called um, anhydrous. Anhydrous body butters. Anhydrous. Um, actually, I'm going to put one of these in here. So I'm going to put a little sample in there. This is a little sample soap called the Pink Hippie. Put that in there and then stuff this around on this side making sure it is good. All right, sorry, I just had to switch it out. So I switched it out to a bigger box and I have my stamp on there. You can see Pink Hippie and now I will put her um, packing slip in there and I'll write a note on the top there with my I love these. I have to get some more made. So it's so exciting. I showed them in the last one, I believe. And that will go in the front and it fits. I fit it like this. So when they open it up, it, it pops up and it, it says hi beautiful on it. So I am just ecstatic that this is helping, um, helping people. I had a, um, oh, y'all get to see my tape. So I had someone stop me at church yesterday. I lead worship um, at my church, and someone stopped me and said, oh, my gosh, your butter is amazing. I've just slept so good. And that made me feel great. And then my grandson was spending the night, and... He, he needs it. <laughs> He's a, he is on the go, and it really just helped chill him out, and he fell asleep, and that's good. That is good. So let me show you this, what this looks like. I love to have things present nicely. I don't want them to look disheveled or, like, from the product. I just everything, from the stuff I source to... Um, how I list it to the stuff I make and I want it to I just want someone to feel special and good when they get something so oh, can't show you the address <laughs> uh, let me show you this <laughs> so there is my tape on there and that is the tape I got from Gorilla was it Gorilla most of the stuff I get is from Vistaprint I do like Vistaprint but this was from Gorilla Tape. They do more than tape. But anyway, I'm gonna set this over here. All right. This next one is a big order. And I do have a box for this one. I kind of planned this out a little bit better. And I believe this is also a viewer, Michelle in Delaware. Thank you so much. Happy birthday to you and your daughter. How great. So this is a gift to themselves. I will show you. I got my salted, um, this is a salted Himalayan salt face bar. It has a little bit of exfoliation. It is so great. Shave worthy lather. Um, this is in one of my new release soaps, the Citrus Kiss Lavender. There we go, and if you can see on the back, it has my stamp that stamps inside the soap. I love it. I love it. My sweater weather with the buttons on the top. See little, those are soap. Those are goat milk soap, just like with the, and then I did the, I only have one more that has buttons, and then I have two more soaps that with no buttons on the top. So those are, so pineapple, lime, coconut, orange, and patchouli soap. You might not be able to see that. Dry Mane Goat Milk Soap Bar. How fun. I did put one of my older labels on there because I have a few more to use. It has the picture of the horse. Two magnesium butters and one 
radiance i call this radiance this is a face serum and scalp renewal there you go so good i will be doing a separate one specifically for scalp people love this one but i really want to i've got my rosemary coming in the garden so i want to infuse that rosemary it is amazing for the scalp it helps with hair growth and um, the thing with products um, on the market, it has silicone, it has plastics in it. So why we get the shine with, with certain shampoos and things is because it's coating our hair with plastic. So when you use the shampoo bar, it just, your hair almost feels like, oh my gosh, I just got all that sludge off. And then there is a detox kind of uh, part that happens because the hair is like, what the heck happened? All that stuff has been hiding the dryness and everything underneath. I'm not a big pro, well I use my product, but I don't use anything from the store. So um, there's, that's all I do. I wash my hair with shampoo. I use my, I use that on my scalp twice a week. Run it through, or like brush it through, wash it out. When I'm shampooing, I might put it on before I go do farm chores or something and then wash my hair. And every once in a while I might do a vinegar rinse, uh, apple cider vinegar rinse. I don't use gels, shampoos, any of that stuff because I know it's carcinogenic and not good. I'm gonna put two samples in here for her. I got the Mason, uh, the Mason bar. It's kind of like a bourbon and Talbic um, scent, cypress. And I will put, put in a lip butter. Actually, I'm gonna put two in. I'm gonna put two in so each one of them have a lip butter <laughs> for themselves and that's good I'm gonna put these two at two separate ends and then start stacking the soap in between and I will need some fluff in here to help protect all the stuff Mm, I actually might put this in here. All right, I actually have a little box that I'm going to put um, these in so they're not like flying all over the package. So yeah, she has a little note on there that says, um, happy birthday to me and my daughter. And she did use the 10% uh, discount when, they, when people sign up for my email they'll get a 10% discount on um, their order. So, and then of course, I'm getting ready to send out this card here that is a 15% discount on their next order. So that is good. I do have an Instagram. Um, I do have an Instagram for thrifting too, but I'm really not on that. I haven't checked it in a while, but I do have a, uh, the Pink Hippie Co. is my soap making portion of the non I mean of the LLC. All right, so I'm gonna go back and check. I've got, I gotta wrap this up. All right, I'll be right back when I button this up. Okay, there it is. So I can position this so it doesn't show the address on the <laughs> invoice, but I used some bubble paper that I have gotten in the mail with my orders and I might put another piece over top just so she doesn't cut into the card by chance yes another piece of paper I need to replenish some of my paper and stuff so I'm just gonna lay that over top good yes tuck that in and that looks good. I will button this up. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more what sold. Like I said, if you want to check out my farm channel where I make all the products and share my farm animals with you, you can check that out as well. I have a really hard time of remembering, and I should have done it at the beginning, that if you you know like these this content, please subscribe and like and give me a comment, something. Let me know. Uh, that always is a blessing to hear. I hope you guys are blessed, and I will see you next time. Bye.